It started with a few restless nights and a lingering fatigue my mother couldn't shake. At first, we chuck it up to age or maybe stress from work. She brushed off the puffiness in her ankles as water away and ignored the metallic taste in her mouth. Then came the headaches, the shortness of breath, and finally the sudden drop in appetite. By the time she went in a four test, her creatine levels were dangerously high and her kidney were already in a stage 3 of chronic kidney disease. Looking back, the signs were all there, but we didn't recognize them. Before we start, I wanted to say that. We need your voice. If you have special experiences in the field of health, please send your voice messages to this gmail, wellness.whispering at gmail.com. Every story can give hope and motivation to others. We intend to play these messages at the beginning of our videos. Let's build a supportive community together. Today, we're going to uncover the critical symptoms of high creatinine levels, symptoms that may appear subtle but carry serious implications. If you've ever looked at your blood test and wondered about that creatinine number, this video is for you. What is creatinine and why it matters? Creatinine is a waste product generated by your muscles during normal activity. Under healthy conditions, your kidneys filter it out efficiently, keeping your blood clean and balanced. However, when kidney function begins to decline, creatinine accumulates in the blood, a signal that your filtration system is compromised. Let's explore 12 critical symptoms of high creatinine levels and what they could mean for your health. 1. Unexplained fatigue and weakness. If you have been feeling persistent fatigue without any specific reason for a while, even when you've slept well or haven't done much activity, it might be related to your kidneys. When the kidneys become weak and cannot filter waste products like creatinine from the blood, these toxins remain in the body and put pressure on the cells. Many people confuse this fatigue with overwork or lack of sleep, while it may be an important sign. According to an article in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, about 70% of kidney patients experience moderate to severe fatigue, which is caused by a combination of anemia, blood toxins, and metabolic disorders. If you are constantly tired and resting doesn't help, ask your doctor to order tests for creatinine and GFR. Increase iron-rich foods in your diet, such as lentils or spinach, to potentially compensate for any anemia. 2. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or face. When your shoes become tighter, or you notice swelling in your feet and around your ankles, even if you haven't walked much, it may be a sign of fluid retention in your body. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, they cannot effectively eliminate excess salt and water. These fluids gradually accumulate in the tissues and cause swelling. Sometimes the swelling is soft and painless, but if it persists, it can be dangerous as it indicates that the body is struggling to maintain balance. According to a study in Curious, 2022, early swelling is one of the first signs of kidney failure and is observed in more than half of the patients. Reduce your salt intake, for example, avoid chips, canned foods, and sausages, and when lying down, elevate your legs slightly above your heart. If the swelling lasts for several days or becomes severe, you definitely need laboratory tests. 3. Decreased urination, oliguria. When you go to the bathroom and notice that your urine volume is significantly less than before, even if you've been drinking enough water, you should take it seriously. Less urine than usual may be a sign that the kidneys are not filtering the blood properly. Sometimes, the urine may also become much darker or smell bad. This symptom usually starts quietly, and a person might think their body is just dehydrated. However, if it persists, it could indicate kidney failure. Reduced urine output leads to the accumulation of toxins like creatinine and urea in the body, worsening the cycle. According to an article in Nature Review's Disease Primers, 2021, decreased urine output is one of the first signs of acute kidney failure and is associated with rising creatinine levels. What to do? Measure your urine output once over a 24-hour period, for example, using a bottle at home. If it is less than 400 milliliters per day, drink more natural fluids and avoid pain relievers like ibuprofen or naproxen. 4. Muscle cramps and sudden muscle twitches. If you wake up at night with sudden pain in your calf or thigh, or if you feel that your muscles sometimes twitch or tremble involuntarily, this may be a sign of an electrolyte imbalance in the body. The kidneys play an important role in regulating potassium, calcium, magnesium, and sodium. When their function declines, these minerals do not reach normal levels, and muscles encounter problems. 
This condition often occurs at night or after intense activity and may sometimes be accompanied by weakness or pain. According to a study in Nephrologia, 2016, about 60% of patients with high creatinine levels experience muscle cramps due to mineral deficiencies. Do light stretching exercises before bed. Drink water and include foods like bananas, spinach, or nuts that are rich in magnesium in your daily diet. 5. Shortness of breath. If you feel out of breath quickly when climbing stairs or even during normal walking, it may be a problem with your kidneys. This symptom is usually accompanied by a feeling of pressure in the chest or significant fatigue. The reason is that when the kidneys cannot eliminate excess fluid from the body, this fluid accumulates in the lungs, known as pulmonary edema. Additionally, kidney failure causes anemia because the kidneys are unable to produce a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production. Without enough oxygen, your body feels suffocated even when you are sitting. An article in Physical Activity and Nutrition, 2023, showed that kidney patients often experience shortness of breath due to fluid retention and anemia. At night while sleeping, place an extra pillow under your head and try to avoid salt and salty foods. Get a pedometer to see how much walking causes you to feel short of breath. 6. Nausea and Vomiting Sometimes you may feel nauseous or even vomit without having eaten spoiled food or too much. This condition can last for several days, and no medication seems to help. The reason is that when creatinine levels rise, urea and toxins accumulate in the blood. These toxins affect the stomach lining and cause nausea. They also impact the brain, leading to changes in taste sensation and appetite control. This condition may be accompanied by bad breath or a lack of appetite. A report from Kidney International Reports, 2022, indicated that 40% of patients with decreased kidney function suffer from nausea and gastrointestinal discomfort. Eat simple foods like rice and boiled potatoes, make your meals smaller, and lie down for a bit after eating. Natural ginger, for example, in tea, can help. 7. High blood pressure. If your blood pressure is usually high, for example, above 130 over 80, and it does not decrease even with medication or diet, your kidneys may have an issue. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, they do not excrete excess salt and fluids, which leads to increased pressure. On the other hand, the kidneys produce hormones that regulate blood pressure themselves. When they are damaged, this balance is disrupted. High blood pressure further damages the kidneys, creating a dangerous cycle. The Journal of Hypertension, 2022, states that high creatinine levels are associated with an increased risk of chronic hypertension, especially in middle-aged men. Measure your blood pressure daily with a home device. Reduce your intake of salt, chips, canned foods, and processed meats, and try to walk for 30 minutes each day. 8. Persistent skin itching, uremic pruritus. If your skin itches for no specific reason, neither hives nor allergies, and this itching is bothersome, your kidneys may be sounding the alarm. When phosphorus, urea, or other waste products accumulate in the blood, the body tries to eliminate them through the skin or reacts to them. Typically, the itching worsens at night and may lead to insomnia. This symptom is usually felt more intensely on the back, arms, head, or calves. According to a report in the Clinical Kidney Journal, 2023, about 70% of dialysis patients suffer from persistent skin itching, even if their skin is not dry. What to do? Use fragrance-free lotion, wear cotton clothing, and reduce your intake of phosphorus-containing foods like sausages, soda, and processed cheese. A lukewarm shower can also help. 9. Loss of appetite and unintentional weight loss. When your sense of hunger decreases or you have no desire for food for no reason, and at the same time, your weight is dropping, it may be a sign of kidney dysfunction. Elevated creatinine levels in the blood lead to the accumulation of toxins that affect the digestive system and the brain. The brain sends fewer hunger signals, and the digestive system works less effectively. Sometimes, to combat inflammation caused by this condition, the body begins to break down muscles, leading to weight loss even with a low food intake. According to a study in Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation, 2015, increased creatinine levels cause the secretion of inflammatory cytokines that suppress appetite, this issue has been observed in over 45% of patients. Weigh yourself once a week and consume light but nutritious foods like lentil soup, boiled eggs, or whole grain bread more often. If you don't feel like eating, make your meals smaller but more frequent. 10. 
frequent headaches. Headaches that start without reason, occur consecutively, and do not improve with medication may be a sign of increased blood toxins. High creatinine levels can lead to increased pressure in the blood vessels and the brain or disrupt the body's electrolytes. The result can be throbbing headaches, a feeling of heaviness in the head, or even dizziness. Sometimes, a person may feel a lack of concentration or fatigue quickly. A study published in Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics, 2022, states that the accumulation of urea and creatinine causes nerve inflammation and disrupts brain signals, which is associated with chronic headaches. Drinking enough water and resting in low-light environments can help. Also, reduce your intake of salty and fatty foods, as they can raise blood pressure and exacerbate headaches. 11. Metallic taste in the mouth and bad breath. If you feel like there is always a bitter metallic taste in your mouth or your mouth has a bad odor even after brushing, your body may be trying to eliminate toxins through saliva. When the kidneys cannot remove urea from the blood, this substance converts to ammonia in the saliva. This can cause both bad breath and an unpleasant taste. This condition is usually accompanied by a lack of appetite and reduced desire for food. The Journal of Renal Nutrition, 2024, reported that 35% of kidney patients experience dysgeusia, taste disorder, which is directly related to increased creatinine levels. Drinking water with a slice of lemon or chewing natural mint can help temporarily. Avoid alcoholic mouthwashes and floss every night before bed. 12. Insomnia and restless sleep. If you frequently wake up at night, have trouble sleeping, or feel tired in the morning, it may be due to kidney failure. Additionally, Body itching, muscle cramps, or even nighttime shortness of breath can disturb sleep. This situation can leave you feeling drowsy and lethargic during the day, making it hard to concentrate. An article in Renal Failure, 2024, showed that sleep disturbances not only contribute to the progression of kidney disease but are also a direct symptom of high creatinine levels, especially in patients at stage 3 and beyond. High creatinine isn't just a number on a report. It's a messenger a signal that your kidneys may be struggling to keep up with the demands of your body. And often, the body whispers before it screams. The good news. With awareness comes action. Catching these symptoms early can mean the difference between manageable conditions and irreversible damage. Whether it's your fatigue, your breath, your swelling ankles, or a loved one's, you now have the knowledge to take that first step. Your health isn't just a set of lab values. It's your energy, your future. So listen to what your body is trying to tell you, because your story doesn't have to end like her mother's early chapters. With the right awareness and timely care, you can write a different ending. Take care of your kidneys, and they'll take care of you.